Welcome to Jesus Christ Prison Ministry and another video Bible study. Our topic, John, our Savior, part two. This is based on John 13, 21 through 38. After saying this, Jesus was deeply troubled in spirit and declared solemnly, Truly I tell all of you with certainty, one of you is going to betray me. Are you going to betray Jesus? Will you continue to look to your church, your pastor and denomination as Judas did? Since Jesus was not giving him what he wanted, he went to his church and got what he wanted. How about you? The disciples began looking at one another, completely mystified about whom he was speaking. The Spirit of God is speaking. Look around and wonder who it is talking about. It is amazing how church members can be so completely mystified about whom he was speaking about. Is he speaking to you? One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus kept loving, had been sitting very close to him. So Simon Peter motioned to this man to ask Jesus about whom he was speaking. Leaning forward on Jesus' chest, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, He is the one to whom I will give this piece of bread after I have dipped it in the dish. Then he took a piece of bread, dipped it, and gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. After he had taken the piece of bread, Satan entered him. Then Jesus took him. Do quickly what you are going to do. If your whole heart and soul is not with Jesus, but is divided among the world, church, and a bit of reading the Bible, you are betraying Jesus. He must have all of your heart. Every emotion, every thought, every action, every word and feeling must be under the command of Jesus. You must live by every word that comes from the mouth of God, not your church. Otherwise, you will not understand anything Jesus is saying to you. Now, no one at the table knew why Jesus said this to him. Some thought that since Judas had the money bag, Jesus was telling him to buy what they needed for the festival or to give something to the destitute. So Judas took the piece of bread, immediately went outside, and it was night. People look around at those in their churches and see no difference between any of them. They read scripture, but they look at the church and see no one obeying it. It is all a joke. Even those who hold the money bag for the church are not listening to Jesus. They sit in church taking the bread from their church. But when they leave the church, it is night in their souls. They have not listened to or partaken of the body of Christ. It is all church and religion. After Judas had gone out, Jesus said, The Son of Man is now glorified. And God has been glorified by him. If God has been glorified by him, God himself also will glorify the Son of Man, and he will do so quickly. Being glorified by God is not going to church. It is not putting on an exciting show or entertainment. It is sacrificing everything in your life in order to live in obedience to the word of God, to live as Jesus lived, a self-sacrificing life for the good of others. 
If you go to church, you are living for your selfishness. Death is your reward. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, but what I told the Jews, I now tell you. Where I am going, you cannot come. The mission of Jesus at that time was not the mission of the disciples. Yes, in the future they would follow Jesus in giving up their lives. But tonight, they were not to go where Jesus was going. He needed them for another day. Each of us has our duties and responsibilities. Instead of going to church, we need to be laying our lives at the feet of Jesus daily and asking him to reveal our duty for that day. I am giving you a new commandment to love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. This is how everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. How do we love one another? By taking them to church? No. By giving them what they want? No. By entertaining them? No. We love one another by serving them, telling them the truth, doing our duty, and serving as Jesus did. Simon Peter asked him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered him, I am going where you cannot follow me now, though you will follow me later on. Lord, why can't I follow you now? Peter asked him. I would lay down my life for you. Jesus answered him, Would you lay down your life for me? Truly, I tell you with certainty, a rooster will not crow until you have denied me three times. Peter loved Jesus, but he did not know himself. Many claim to love Jesus, but, like Peter, have not spent enough time living in obedience to Jesus and his every word in order to develop insight into themselves necessary to know themselves. God wants to reveal your inmost self to you. He sees you as you really are. We see ourselves as we want to see ourselves, not as we truly are. We must, every day, ask the Spirit of God to reveal our defects so we can overcome them before it is too late. Paul told his son, Timothy, to know yourself. It is very important to know yourself. That self-knowledge can only come through obedience to Jesus. Peter had a second chance. You may not. When probation closes, all lives will be sealed. Those who have developed perfect characters will reap eternal life. Those who neglect to develop perfect characters will be destroyed. I pray that you will let Jesus into your life so that you can reap the reward he has offered you. Thank you for joining JCPM and Jesus Christ for another video Bible study.